Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to automatically share digital downloads on successful Stripe payment. So are you also selling your products with the help of Stripe? Then this video is definitely for you. So over here, I'm selling some of my courses with the help of Stripe. And now I wish that as soon as a new course is purchased in my Stripe account, automatically my customer should receive the course PDF on their Google Drive account. So to do this, I'm going to create a connection between Stripe and Google Drive. We are going to create this connection with the help of Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So in Pabli, we have the concept of trigger and action. For trigger, we are going to Stripe and for action, we are using Google Drive. So if you also wish to learn this process step by step, follow me through the screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically share digital downloads and successful Stripe payment. So to do this, I have already opened the landing page of Pabli. Simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser, it is very easy. So as soon as you will open the landing page of Pabli, you are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I am an existing user, so I am going to click on sign in. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over there, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here. And now it is opening my dashboard. And to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button right over here, which says create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder, which is automations. And I want to name my workflow as automatically share digital downloads on successful Stripe payment. And then we are going to click on create. And now it is opening the most important window of our automation that is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have triggered an action in this. Trigger means when this happens and action means do this. By this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now we are going to select our trigger application which is Stripe because I want that as soon as a new payment is made on my Stripe account, automatically my workflow should be triggered. So I'm going to search for it and select it. And now for the trigger event, we are going to select it as new charge. And over here, you can see that it is giving me a web book URL. So we are going to use this URL in order to create a connection between our workflow and our Stripe account. So to do this, first I'm going to copy this URL and then we are going to open our Stripe account. And over here, you can see that this is my Stripe account and I've already logged in it. It is always advised to log in our applications before starting with the automation. So now over here, you can see developers. So we are going to open this and from here, we are going to go on webhooks. And over here, you can see all the webhooks that I've created, but I'm going to create a new. So I'm going to click on add endpoint and from here, it is asking me for the endpoint URL. So I'm going to paste the URL we copied from our workflow. And now it is asking me for the description. So as you can see that this is not the required field. So I'm going to leave it as blank. And now it is asking for listen to. So I'm going to keep it on events on your account. And now it is asking me for the version. So I'm going to select the latest API version and then we are going to click on select events. And over here to select my events, you can see that in the help desk it is saying from the select events drop down, choose chart succeeded. So over here we have to choose chart succeeded. So I'm going to search for chart succeeded and over here you can see it. So I'm going to select it and click on add events. And now we are going to click on add endpoint. And yes, you can see that we have successfully added our webhook URL. And now we are going to do a test submission so that public can capture the response. So to do the test submission, we are going to open our Stripe payment links. And from here, we are going to purchase this Java notes for professionals eight weeks. So I'm going to copy this link and then we are going to open this in a new tab. And over here, you can see this link. And now we are going to do the payment. So for the email, I'm going to keep it as demo at the rate publitudes.com for the phone number i'm going to keep it as this first name as demo last name as user and for the card information i'm going to enter the card information and now for the billing address i'm going to keep the address as old street city as bhopal pin as 411 
and the state as Madhya Pradesh. And then we are going to click on subscribe. And yes, you can see that it is saying processing and thank you for subscribing. So this means that we have successfully did the test submission. And now Stripe has sent the payments details to our workflow. So we are going to open our workflow and check that if Pabli has captured the response or not. And yes, you can see Pabli has captured the response. Over here, we are going to see all the details of the payment made. So I'm going to scroll it a little. The name, the email, the state, the postal code. Over here, you can see the address, the city, also the country. So this means that my trigger step is successful. And now we are moving on to our action step. For our action application, we are going to select it as Google Drive because I want that as soon as a new payment of a course purchase is made in my Stripe account, automatically my customer should receive the course on their Google Drive. So I'm going to search for it and select it. And now for the action event, we are going to select it as share a file. And then we are going to click on connect. And over here, you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Google Drive account, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection and then sign in with Google. And now after selecting my account, it is asking me for some permissions. So I'm going to click on allow and give Pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with Pabli. You can also click on allow because Pabli is safe. And as soon as you're going to click on allow, you can see that you have successfully connected your Google Drive account with your Pabli's workflow. And now it is asking me for the file ID. So to let you know this, I'm going to open my Google Drive account. Over here, you can see that this is the file I wish to share, which is Java Notes PDF. I'm going to open this. And over here, you can see that this is the file. So I'm going to select the same file in my workflow also. So I'm going to search for Java Notes PDF right over here. And over here, you can see the same. So I'm going to select it. And now for the email, we are going to map this. So mapping is a method by Pabli, which means inserting the data from the previous step. And as you know, our previous step was the trigger step where we selected Stripe as our trigger application. So we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only. And as soon as I'm going to map these details, automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new payment made in my Stripe account. And also if I'll manually enter an email address right over here, it will not change with every new payment made but if i'm going to map this it will change with every new payment made so that's why we do mapping so over here i'm going to search for email and over here you can see the billing email so i'm going to map this so that this data should change with every new payment captured and now for the role i'm going to keep it as can view only and now we are going to click on save and send test request. And yes, you can see that we have received the positive response that our PDF has been sent to our customer through Drive. So I'm going to open the Gmail and check that if customer has received it or not. Over there, you can see items shared with you Java notes PDF. And over here, you can see that this is the mail my customer has received. Over here, you can see the Java notes PDF. So I'm going to open this. And yes, you can see that this is the same PDF and my customer can download it from here. So this means that my workflow is successful, but I'll just test the workflow once and this time I'm going to give you a real time example. So to do this, I'm going to open my payment link, copy this and again paste it in a new tab. So we are going to do this payment to check that if our workflow is ready to run in real time or not. So for the email this time, I'm going to enter it as test at the rate publitudes.com. For the phone number, I'm going to keep it as this for the first name. I'm going to keep it as test, last name as user only. For the card, I'm going to enter the card information. And now for the billing address, I'm going to keep the address as new street this time. And now for the city, I'm going to keep it as indoor in as this. And for the state, I'm going to keep it as Madhya Pradesh only. And again, we are going to click on subscribe. And yes, you can see that it is processing my payment. So we are going to wait for a few seconds. And yes, you can see, thank you for subscribing. A payment to Pabli will appear on your statement. So this means that we have successfully made this payment and our submission. So now it means that Stripe has sent the details of our payment to our workflow. Pabli captured the response, triggered the workflow and further sent our customer the notes PDF. So I'm going to open my customer's Gmail and check that if customer has received the PDF or not. So this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on save and send test request. It is a real time example. So I'm directly going to open the Gmail. We are going to close this and over here you can see a new mail has been sent. So I'm going to open this. Over here you can see that this mail is sent to test at the rate 
So I'm going to open this notes PDF. And yes, you can see that we have successfully sent the same PDF to our new customer also. So this means that my workflow is successful and I'll just summarize the workflow for you once. For our trigger application, we selected Stripe. Then for the trigger event, we selected new charge because I wanted that as soon as a new payment is made in my Stripe account, automatically my workflow should be triggered. And then for the action application, I selected Google Drive. For the action event, I selected share a file because I wanted that as soon as my customer purchased a course automatically my customer should receive the course pdf in their google drive account and yes we were successful with our workflow over here you can see that we shared these items with our customer one to test at the rate pablitudes.com another one to demo at the rate pablitudes.com so with this if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone the workflow and share the workflow link in the description box thank you for watching not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli, you can integrate many more applications. So now, if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.